morning guys welcome to today today is rainy today's rainy penny pickle just called out to me and said stop talking get my food who is chilly and it's supposed to rain for the next two days but look at how clean and nice my table is so proud of sam for keeping it up Put the lid on my supplement though all right let's do this day it's rainy it's supposed to rain for two days and i have plans how many of you guys spotted the cat as i was walking by hello kitty what a good spot for you see to all of you guys who thought that we wasted our money on buying all these saddle pads like there's a use for it perfect safe spot away from the dogs all right penny pickle here you go I can't remember, but it was not good. Breakfast for you. Oh, but look it. I, oh, well, actually, I'll save your apple for this for later. Sorry, no breakfast for you. Your owner did not arrive. Your owner did not come. Uh oh. Back up. Back up. Ow! Oh my god. Almost passed out. Almost died. Am I bleeding anywhere? Oh. Am I? Oh, I just about. Whew. I hope I do not have another concussion. Oh. I'll call Gabby to get her butt down here. Gracie just head butted me right in the nose. You can die from that. And then I almost passed out. Like, literally almost passed out. I like. Oh. That was brutal. I put her food down and she got spooked and she put her head up. Ugh. That was scary, you guys. Come down. No, it's fine. I'm fine. Because? I almost died. Your, your horse almost killed me. Like, if you bang on your nose far enough, your nose, like, it's dangerous. Woo. Yeah, you have to cut just where your glasses. Yeah, that's okay. A little cut isn't gonna hurt me. I'm gonna have a headache, though. All right, so this is what I've been doing now. This is what I'm doing for now until, I my fish. oh, are you ready? For now until forever. While she eats, I groom her and she loves it. She is so happy to have that done, huh? Sophie wants to show you how she catches the fish while we wait for the ponies to be done, but I think the ponies are done. Sometimes I have to like stand back and laugh at our life, you guys. All right, show me. You grab a broken whip. She already caught it. Already caught. That was That's a for glory. <laughs> take for glory. <laughs> Whoa. This is a different kind of fish. This is the kind of Whoa, did you see that? This is the kind of fish <laughs> that wants to be caught. <laughs> <laughs> help! Help me! Help me! Oh, I can't do it myself! Oh my god! <laughs> Listen to her make noise! This dog rarely makes noise. <laughs> Is it the fish that got away, Sophie? Come on, you can do it! I can't believe that. Gracie headbutted me. It's one of those things you have to always be watching for and be careful about. But sometimes it's so unexpected, which is why horses are a little bit dangerous. But that's how I roll, you guys. I laugh in the face of danger and cry sometimes too. <laughs> All right. All right, my pony's coming. Okay. Hi, Gracie. I knew you were gonna go to that pile. You'll be moving in a minute, because here comes Minnie. Who's looking good. And here comes big girl. And I'm ready today with the apple. Hi, Pig. Uh oh. You better move. Because <laughs> she'd be coming. And I got you a treat. It's an apple piece. Because you are the apple of my eye, Penny Pickle. Apple of my eye. All right. I feel like she's turning undead. <laughs> like, 
Ruby. Ruby, Molly, Molly. Oh, I say Molly. And these would come running over and jump on me. Well, lock them all in there then. I heard Sophie say, oh God, I'm dizzy. You see Ollie? He left? So that's the weird thing. I got our, our cats spayed and neutered for, a man, for many reasons, but one of them was because I wanted them to stay home. You guys remember we were taking care of a friend's cat and he wasn't neutered and he used to be gone all the time. Like he'd be out there looking for women and I wanted our, our cats to always be home. And yeah, like he's terrified. He's here a lot. We see him out the window, but he doesn't love the he doesn't love the dog, so he does disappear a lot. Our female is always here. Our boy yes, never, and he doesn't even have any reason to go chasing for girls. All right, I'll dump this. You get the lights. What? Yeah. All right. Well, you dump. I'll get the lights. No. Yeah. Um, so uh, Gabby has been asserting her right this last week to come down whenever she's ready and do her chores and it's been working out great. That's what happened to me. Gracie headbutted me right in the nose. She's bleeding though. And it's not funny. All of a sudden everything went black and I started falling to the side. I put my hand out and Sophie caught me and now I'm a little dizzy but yeah. yeah. She grabbed my arm so tightly. Was it? I didn't even hardly feel it. You grabbed it like that. Like I, I was falling. Like I was going over. Molly. Anyway, I'm okay. Let's see. Yeah, you guys see the blood? That's all I got. That, a headache, and I feel a little, I feel a little dizzy. Did you almost just fall over? Yeah, yeah. like I'm so a bit dizzy. So if I push you right now, you'll fall. Yeah, don't push me. So frustrating, you guys. So I definitely have a concussion from Gracie, from Gracie's bang to my head. She knocked my nose. I feel nauseous, I feel dizzy, I feel sick, and it's so weird. Like for any of you guys who've never had a concussion, a concussion is such a weird thing. I can feel almost every part of my brain right now. Like I can tell that whatever happened, my nose smashed up into my head. I can feel like all the parts of my brain. It's just such a weird thing. It's just such a weird feeling and I just want to, I just annoying you guys like I'm the kind of person that always is going and moving and doing stuff and then suddenly when something happens something that you can't even really see and it kind of puts you on your butt it just feels frustrating to me like how do you like I'm not good at resting and now suddenly I have this thing that you can't even see but it's debilitating in the same sense like it's just annoying Super, super annoying like I had so many things planned today and things that I have to get done and then here I am just sitting with this annoying feeling like it's just an annoying feeling like I could push past it but should I push past it that's what I'm trying to decide I feel like such a baby because so many other people are out there living with really awful things and here I am one day with something that's kind of knocked me on my butt and I'm complaining I remember when I had my last concussion, like I never had a concussion before I got horses. It's those darn Palominos, I'm like, Gabby, they hate me. Remember with my last concussion, I didn't even realize how bad it was until after the fact. It lasted for a few weeks. And I remember having a bath after Finn pushed me and I fell on my head. And I remember feeling laying in the bath and then feeling so confused. Like I was talking to my friend and texting her and just feeling so confused. And... It's just lasting for so long. Yeah, I don't want that again. Update. This is gonna be quick because talking makes it way worse. So, after you get a concussion, it progresses. It progressively gets worse, which is super annoying. You get confused. And the last time I had a concussion, I didn't and video like what happened how it progressed so basically Sam is gonna come home bring me some medicine and then I'm gonna stay here on the couch and close my eyes and lay here because when I move my eyes too much it makes me feel like I'm gonna be sick 
So I don't know what has going to happen with the vlog. And I don't want anybody to feel worried. And I don't want to post anything that's going to worry people. So don't be worried. I've been here before. I'm going to just lay down and have a rest. But I feel like I need to figure this thing out. Like, I need a blanket. I feel like I feel like my brain is going like this up and down in my head but the ice you see the ice I have an ice behind my head too it feels really good. I feel drunk you guys have oh I can't look up I can't talk anymore because it's making it worse hi guys I'm home came home because Laura got a concussion and it's gonna be a great day because there'll be nobody nagging us but we're gonna have to leave Laura in the house like this with a bunch of peas on her head I live without my peas <laughs> all right yeah this hurts just don't sleep i guess oh no i was should be watching sleep. tv or something can't watch tv hurts to talk hurts to look at stuff hurts to talk there you have it there'll be no nagging today and no talking be a nice quiet day. No vlog. No vlogging either. <laughs> terrible. That's terrible. It's raining out. And the horses are nowhere to be seen. They're in the barn. Hiding from the rain. So I'm on Facebook because I'm relaxing now. And there's this post for for this. I don't know if you can see it. It's coloring chalk for your horse's mane and tail. And I said to Sophie. I said to Sophie, hey Sophie, because this would work for Finn, because he's got a light mane. I said, look, there's this chalk that you can buy, and it's for your horse's mane. And she turned around to come towards me, and then turned back around and goes, oh, I thought you said chocolate. And she walked away. So apparently, chocolate's on Sophie's mind and not colored chalk. Yeah, hello guys. Oops, dark. Close that door. Hi guys, it's the end of the day, and we're bringing the horses in. And we really didn't vlog much today because we were just catering to the needs of poor, yeah, that's the dog. Catering the needs to poor, poor mom. I was like, um, it's like being a slave. We always are like to her. Being a slave when, when mom is sick, we have to do all the work. She's not sick. Well, she got a concussion. It's kind of like sick. Me we have to do all the work. Yeah, we have to do all the work. Anyways, we are going to uh, we're going to reenact what happened to uh, Laura today, and Gabby's going to be Gracie, and uh, Sophie's going to be Laura. We'll see what happens. And look, look at Penny's ready to come in. <laughs> okay, ready? What what happened? Okay, just put your head down like a horse. Be pushy, like Gracie normally is with other people. And then your horse's head is already down there. Then bang! Bang! Up. Bang! Hit her head. Gets dizzy. Dizzy. Grabs on. Grabs on to me for dear life. Grabs on to you for dear life. She grabbed on to you for dear life. Yeah. Okay. Like this. No, like. <laughs> And then what happened? We continued on with life. We continue on with life. You guys did chores. Then called, then called me. Continued on with life, then called me, and yeah. Man, I called her. And then after she called that's me, where she we're had at. to lay, lay down and rest. <clears throat> that's right, because you have a concussion, and you can't do anything but lie down and rest yourself. Hey, and when I had a concussion, um, I spell a word backwards. You spell a word backwards when you have a concussion? Yeah. Okay, bring those dogs in here. Oh, when I the dogs come in. Molly Ruby! Molly Ruby! Molly Ruby! We usually don't take the dogs down to the barn when it's wet out, but today they got wet. We usually don't let the uh, dogs down in the rain because they get all muddy. They go back up to the house and they're full of mud, but we brought a towel and we're going to dry off their dirty, muddy paws when we get back up there. Plus, they fight and they get into the grass in the mud and they roll around and they all are dirty and especially 
your dog. My dog cleans herself. She gets really, really muddy. And she cleans herself. And black, herself. and she's a white dog, and she looks really bad. And Not for us. Anyways, that's why we don't usually bring the dogs down when it rains. Okay, Alright, we're going to bring the horses in now. So we'll see who comes first. Willow. Willow? Usually Penny. I usually let Penny in first. Come on, Willow. Girl. Oh, here comes Penny. You're going too fast. Slow, slow. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. She still speeds away. I know, I know. She's still... They're hungry today. You hungry? You hungry? I'm hard to good. that she spooked at that perfect. Oh, she spooked? Because Molly's playing with her wool and right out of her stall. Oh, so the horse spooked. You know what? When I have the horses here by myself, or the dogs here by myself, the dogs are in that room. Well, I let all the other... Daisy was in this room. Horses up. Well, all the dogs Daisy. are in that room. Because I'm always just Molly. So that's the thing. Like, right now, I don't have the dogs with me because they're in that room. So you can open the door now because the horses are in. So I usually let the dogs in that room so they don't spook the horses. And uh, and I do that in the morning too. And the horses don't spook, so. Anyways, hope you liked our reenactment and hopefully we caught some of that on film anyways. Hey guys, um, it is a few hours later. I got hurt in the morning. It's now like seven o'clock at night and I'm still here. I've been up two times to go to the washroom. Yeah, that is life with a concussion. So basically, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I'm gonna be fine. The reason that I didn't go to the hospital is because I've had concussions before. I've had one concussion before by a Palomino, another Palomino. And basically, there's nothing that they can do for me at the hospital that I can't do for myself at home. In fact, if I went there, they would say, oh, you have a concussion, go home, put ice on your head, take some ibuprofen, and sleep in a dark room, or sleep and be quiet and rest your brain, and that is all you can do. So I'm doing that, and hopefully after about 48 hours, I'll start to, start to feel better. But anyway, I'm doing good. I should be better by maybe tomorrow a lot better, and then by the next day a lot better after that. But the vlog must go on, so I uh, will see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?